here comes the champ, Brittany Force. And here comes the winningest ever, Tony Schumacher, our marquee matchup from earlier this morning. And again, when two cars of this caliber are racing first round, you know you're in for a heck of a race day. Brittany Force is currently number six in the points. She has not had the season that she would have hoped for in her title defense, but she's not out of it yet. If she doesn't do well today, I think she can start thinking about next year for another championship. The Monster Energy team. For the folks at Chevrolet, Cornwall Tools, John Force Racing, David Grubnick and Company, and Tony Schumacher, as Joe pointed out, in pre-race ceremony. That Skag Power Equipment car for Joe Maynard Racing, they have underachieved a bit all year, and they tell you exactly the same thing. But they are on a bit of an uptick right now. Brittany needs to stop that uptick. Brittany wasn't even qualified until the final session yesterday afternoon when they put down a 379 to get him in the field. And that gets him a date with the Sarge here in round number one. Brittany, the reigning champ. Tony, the winningest ever in the category. One of them goes to round two. One of them goes to Dallas a little earlier than they had planned. This one goes Tony's way, 3.730. Look at the speed, 332 miles an hour. Brittany Force goes 3.803. The Monster Machine giving up down there a little at the finish line, only 292 miles an hour. Brittany got off the starting line first. Tony got to the finish line first. That's what really matters. Hannah. The theme of tough matchups continues. With Mike Neff, what, what did you look at to prepare for this round one? Uh, well, we ran a 73 the other night, ran 75 last night, so the track was right in there. So we put it back like we ran 73 last uh, Friday night, and uh, it repeated. So uh, you can't take those guys lightly over there. That's one of the best teams out here. Here's one of the most interesting stats in Top Fuel this morning as we take another look on the NHRA.TV replay. In head-to-head -head competition, that's the first time Tony and Brittany have raced this year. Isn't that ridiculous? This far into the season, those two did not have a head-to-head -head matchup until the one you just witnessed. And Tony Schumacher got the better of it.